Uh, I'm gay, which is very impressive of me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, uh, it took me a long time uh, to come out, and then once I did come out, it took me even longer to meet anyone. Like, I'm not ashamed to say it took six years. Um, I am ashamed to say it took ten years, which is the actual... <laughs> Um, that's why I rounded down to the nearest six. So that's, that's quite common maths practice. If you've got an awkward round number like ten, you go down to the nearest six, don't you? That's, any mathematicians in can confirm that's that. If I owed you a tenner, I'd say, oh, just make it a six. Yeah, I've been told I should explain uh, my accent quite soon on stage because apparently it can be a bit distracting trying to pick it because um, I'm Australian but I've been living in London for about 10 years so I think my accent's got a bit bland. Um, <laughs> apart from when I say the word bland, thank you. <laughs> thank you for repeating. I, uh, I, um, I'm from a little town north of Sydney and I kind of brag to all my friends from back home about how London's such a like glamorous city, like really go, 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 never get a moment to yourself. Um, like the other night I was about to go to bed, but I thought first I would sit on top of my duvet in just my shorts and t-shirt, because I wanted to see if I could pinpoint the exact moment when you go from warm to cold. <laughs> so just that kind of like go, 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 like sex in the city type lifestyle. <laughs> Samantha. I remember that episode. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I eventually um, uh, got up nerve and went online and uh, found that very confusing because uh, on all these lesbian dating sites, every single profile ended the exact same way. They all ended with a sentence like, um, and no, I don't want a threesome, and don't talk to me if it's for a threesome. Found out this is a real thing where you'd often think you were talking to a single lady, but then you'd find out it was actually a couple in disguise wanting to just like spice up their relationship. Uh, I don't know if on the date one of them sat on the other's shoulders and they like wrapped a coat around. I'm not sure like how long the ruse went on for. Um, I saw this and I thought, oh this is so sad, I'm on here looking for love and still I'm going to get these sleazy threesome requests, but you got to try. Uh, so I signed up, it was so upsetting. Months went past, I didn't get a single threesome request. I didn't want one, but I now didn't want to apparently be the only lesbian in Greater London not being bombarded with threesome requests, but I had my pride. Uh, so I just changed my profile to say things like, um, good at multitasking. Um, works well in a team. Equally able to busy self if left alone. Um, Uh, but <laughs> I've uh, but I've met someone now, a lovely couple. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just the one, very dull. Uh, we uh, we actually we didn't meet online. We met the traditional way, um, as in very traditional, as in I was told to climb the highest peak in the kingdom, uh, shoot an arrow off it, and wherever that arrow landed, there my true love would be, um, and there she was. Uh, grieving over the body of her best friend. <laughs> Had some kind of neck wound. Very sad. Uh, I, uh, my girlfriend is a GP on Chante. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Because um, uh, she's a GP, uh, I've been trying to do sexy role play. <laughs> Get ready. Um, so I will say, um, oh, hello, doctor. Um, I need you to examine my chest um, because I've had a persistent cough for about five weeks now. Uh, and I'm quite worried about it. Um, and then my girlfriend will say, um, Heidi, you know I can't examine friends or family, it's completely unethical, I can't. I think you're fine. Uh, and, and then I say, um, Heidi, who's Heidi? <laughs> um, my my name is uh, Jennifer Sexy Pants, <laughs> and I've come here because I'm actually worried that I'm a nymphomaniac, <laughs> um, and I'm also worried because I googled and it said that if you've had a cough for over five weeks, then it could be pneumonia. <laughs> um, 
And then my girlfriend says, um, Heidi, I could literally be struck off if I try to treat you <laughs> medically. I'm worried about your cough. I've been noticing it too. Please, could you book in with your actual GP? And then I say... <laughs> Oh, I tried to book in with them, but they said I'm too sexy. <laughs> um, uh, they said I'm too sexy and that it's going to be a four-week waiting period. Um, and that's unacceptable. Uh, and then my girlfriend says, I know it's a four-week waiting period because the NHS is completely overwhelmed. That's why I'm home late again tonight. I'm so tired. I come home for just a bit of rest and you're throwing these questions at me. I feel so unsupported by you and so unsupported by our government. Uh, and then I say... <laughs> uh, speaking of a lack of support, um, I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> uh, In the NHS, thank you, I deserve that. Um, I, uh, I asked my girlfriend's permission if I could do that joke on stage because she does picture in it, and uh, this is how bad she actually is at role play. She said, Oh, I don't mind you doing that joke, uh, but I am worried that if you say it's a four week waiting period, you're going to discourage people from going. <laughs> to the um, so, my girlfriend would like me to tell you that if it is an emergency, you will be seen sooner. <laughs> making more work for herself.